So we've been analyzing the uh, birth rate of the leukemic cells in chronic lymphocytic leukemia. That is, how rapidly do, do they uh, divide and then enter the circulation and accumulate in the blood. Uh, and we have found that the rate of birth is very important for the outcome for the patient. So the, the faster the cells grow, the more likely it is that the patient will have an a, 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 a inferior outcome. That kind of makes sense that the rate is for most cancers. Uh, um, I think the, the novel finding here was that uh, people usually don't consider CLL to be a disease in which cells proliferate very much. Uh, and we were able to document uh, that they indeed did. Uh, since then, what we've been uh, focusing on is to try and understand ways of identifying the cells that have just divided. Uh, <clears throat> and we have come up with a, a, a marker system uh, looking at the proteins that are on the surface of the cells uh, that are in this recently divided population. Uh, and that marker system allows us to selectively grab those cells, not in 100% purity, but in an enriched state, and then to ask uh, biologic and functional questions. Uh, and essentially what we find is that those cells are very different than the cells that are older uh, and are already in the blood. Um, these cells have the ability to interact uh, with T lymphocytes, uh, another component of the immune system that uh, um, is important for the, the survival of B cells. So this um, recently divided young population of, of B cells is able to talk to the T cell compartment and actually change the T cell compartment in a way that induces the T cells to make a factor that uh, allows for the survival of the B cells. This factor is called interleukin-4, uh, and it's well established in normal B cell biology. Um, when cells get older, they lose that ability. They don't have the ability to instruct T cells to do that. In fact, they actually have an opposite ability. When the cells get older, they actually block the ability of T cells to interact with other cells in the microenvironment, and that um, uh, prevents the, the uh, evolution and generation of cytolytic T cells that could potentially kill the cancer. Uh, 